it's Dr. Christine Arsenault here with five things I wish somebody had told me before I got started on my health and wellness entrepreneurial journey. So the number one thing is don't wait for things to be perfect before you get started. Things will never be perfect. If you get stuck in research mode and planning and preparing and getting ready to get ready to do something, you'll never actually take action. So really the clarity comes in that action. That's where you can tweak and optimize and really gather that data to move forward faster than just being stuck in the perfectionism mode. So get over that perfectionism. My number two thing that I wish somebody had told me before I started my health and wellness entrepreneurial journey is that healing is holistic. I was trained as a pharmacist, so we focus on the physical body and taking pharmaceuticals to alter the chemistry in your body to mask symptoms. But what I learned through my own healing and through working with clients is that it takes a comprehensive holistic approach in order to actually heal. You have to look at your environment, relationships in your mind, in your life, and a mind, body, soul approach. So you have to address that mindset and the subconscious mind and processing emotions and the deeper soul work in order to heal. My number three thing is that you don't have to figure it out on your own. You cannot be an expert in everything. And if you try to be, you're going to be stuck in that research mode where you're not taking action. So hire out where you need to and use those resources. And this goes both for health and business. You cannot wear all of the hats in your business. Delegate where you can. Make the right hiring decisions. You will go much faster that way. The simple things can go a long way. That's my number four is that it doesn't always have to be a complicated answer. Look for the simple solutions. And sometimes it's more about what you're not doing that everybody else in this modern world is doing instead of what you do. So it doesn't need to be a complicated solution, but put your phone down, turn the TV off, laugh with the loved one, eat real food, put your bare feet on the earth. Those are all things that can go a long way. And sometimes we overlook them because just putting your feet on the bare earth seems so simple, but really you're picking up the electrons from the earth that are gonna neutralize free radicals and decrease inflammation in your body. It doesn't have to be complicated. So look for the simple solutions. And lastly, number five, the thing that I wish somebody would have told me before I started my health and wellness entrepreneurial journey is that self-care is not selfish. So you really have to pour into yourself before you can give to others. And it's creating boundaries in your relationships so that you can do that and creating routines that are going to work for you so that you can really take care of your mind, body, and soul and have that holistic approach. So don't forget to take care of yourself first.